Hi folks, I was just reading this book because this week is Thanksgiving in the United States of America, which is a national holiday, a day in which Americans traditionally give thanks for all our blessings. Now we do not thank one another or our neighbor next door, we thank the big guy in the sky, we thank God. That's right. Never mind that establishment clause that someone hallucinated in the Constitution. You see, folks, back in 1777, the Continental Congress issued a proclamation authorizing or asking Americans, or the colonists at that time, to give thanks to God for our blessings. You see, it wasn't a Christian God, a Jewish God, or any other type of God. God, no matter what your religion is, you were being asked to give thanks for our blessings. But, did, but you know, I don't understand these men in the Continental Congress that wrote that proclamation, most some of which went on to write the Constitution. Do they not understand the Establishment Clause, separation of church and state? Where are government officials telling us to give thanks to God? Shame on them! Well, we can excuse them because that was before the Constitution was written. It was 10 years before the Constitution was written. So now we come some years down the road and we get our first President of these here United States, President General, <laughs> President George Washington. What he had the nerve to do while he was President. Now remember now, President George Washington was a delegate to the Constitutional Convention in 1787. He was a contributor. He was one of the authors, a delegate that wrote the Constitution. Yeah! It was him, kids! And he issues a proclamation advising all Americans and asking all Americans at the time to give thanks to God for our blessings. Did he not read the Constitution that he helped author? Or what, he just sat at the convention like this? Huh? Did he not read it? Then some years later, we get this other president, the guy with the hair all over his face, President Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, you know him. <laughs> he had the nerve to issue a Thanksgiving proclamation once again, giving thanks to the Almighty. Did he not read that Constitution? Could you imagine a President of the United States with the Establishment Clause separation of church and state talking like that? <laughs> well, that was before the 1930s when some lunatic federal judge hallucinated the Establishment Clause in the Constitution based upon a letter written by a President who did not attend the Constitutional Convention. Eh. <laughs> when I read this book, folks, there's God and the Lord all over it by the people who left Europe, came to the New World for religious freedom. That's right, for religious freedom so they could worship God the way they wanted to. Now, they didn't allow you to worship God the way you wanted to, but that's another... <laughs> But that's another story. All right, folks. Have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. <laughs> see ya. We are springing to the call for 300,000 more. Shouting the battle.